Uh, I think it's time we check out somebody else's. Sure. I'll see what's going on with you. Twenty sixty four. Mr. Ida. Shinonome kun. I have a question regarding what we talked about today. Will you answer it for me? <laughs> I guess not. Mr. Ida? I thought I had made myself clear. You are to avoid contact with me while at school. I will make an exception this once. What is your question? It's about your feelings, Mr. Ida. You said I was special. You are special. The thing is, I felt it too. The moment you arrived, I knew you'd be special. That something might happen between us. Mr. Ida, the substitute teacher. He's here to fill in while our teacher is on maternity leave. I've come to find he's quite mysterious and comes with his own set of secrets. Mr. Ida, I've never... I've never felt this way before. Just thinking about you makes me... I have already explained to you what my position is. While you are important to me, to all of us, <laughs> you and the rest of the <laughs> chosen as pilots. She immediately looks away. Not, not a fan. Your most importance to the mission. You do understand what I'm saying, don't you? Please don't cause any trouble for me, Shino no Mekun. <sighs> it is true you are quite exceptional. Your intelligence and adaptability are above average. And your piloting technique is more than sufficient. With you on our side, we stand a real chance. But you must be fully committed to the cause. To achieve victory, one must prepare with a full heart. And great tenacity. The internet has been talking of nothing but what happened last week. A group of invaders had come ashore. Their attack held back by a mysterious robot. Mr. Ida, is your only desire to put me inside one of those things? If we don't defend against the attacks on this city, it is no exaggeration when I say that the world will be destroyed. We succeeded in defeating them in the first battle. By ensuring that they were unable to reach the heart of the city, we were able to minimize the damage that was done. But the invasion is just beginning. That attack is nothing compared to what's coming. Hey, what's going on here? What's up, A? Hey, Kun. Weren't you the one that said not to contact you? What do you want with Ryoko Senpai? Sekigahara-kun. Stop, Akun. I'm the one who has to talk to him. Senpai. That is true. Nevertheless, we're drawing attention to ourselves. I'm leaving. Wait. I'll do it. If it's what you want, then I'll fight. Are you certain? Yes. I've made up my mind. Then we will meet after school. I'll give you more details then. Wait. I'm in too. You will fight as well? Yeah. I'll do it. I'll go with Ryoko Senpai. That is excellent news. Then I will see you after school as well. Are you sure about this? I am. Ryoko. Twenty sixty four center of defensive battle. 
She is presented ass. <laughs> remain in the seventh wave number 14 has secured a path just a little more don't stop you're almost there number 14 has taken damage Shinonome-kun pulled back no I can still do this Assist number 14. Number 17. No response. Miss Morimura, something's wrong. I'm not getting a response from Sakigahara either. Systems being attacked. From where? Through the laser link. The attack is originating from number 15. Sekigahara kun? Sekigahara is transmitting it to every sentinel. You know, it's kind of cool that you can actually like see each character up on those status screens on the on the left side like i immediately knew juro was in this battle before you even showed up because it's like those are the actual characters on those screens that uh that uh ida has but we don't have time to adjust the settings do it as is the link will be shut off that way but we'll have no idea where they go Pilots' lives are the priority. Number 16 and 13 have begun transmitting. Number 12 and 19 transmitted. Number 14 has completed transmission. No response from the others. You are almost here. We need to go. We can figure out the reason afterward. I was able to access the autonomous type number eight. We can buy time with that. You two, head for the gate. Itakun. Please hurry. I'd rather not die a meaningless death. Miss Morimura, we need to go. Field to the very end, all so we could escape. <sighs> this must be his hideout. 426 is a dangerous criminal. It'd be foolish to go in unarmed. Remember what Mr. Ida said to achieve victory. One must prepare with great tenacity. Here we go. A gun made in the 2100s. If it comes down to it, I'll use this on him. Prisoner number 426. 
That's what he was called when imprisoned in the future. And now he travels through time, trying to thwart our work. <laughs> There's still some ammo left. Ryoko-san. I've got you cornered now, 426. Huh. It's time to pay for what you've done. Whatever it is you're trying to do now, I don't care. But I can't forgive you for what you did to Mr. Ida. Because of you, he's... You... You're still going on about Ida? There's nowhere left to run, 426. Who told you I was 426? I saw the access logs. It was you, Eiseki Gahara. The program that infected the Sentinels. It was created with 426's ID. Looks like someone left some foolish evidence behind. We're done talking. I should kill you right here. <laughs> then do it. Shoot me. Go on. I'm serious. I'll do it. Huh? The trigger's locked. <laughs> I'm the registered user. It won't shoot me. I'll take you on myself. Really? With those injuries? Besides... What are you doing? Empty. Like I thought. They'll wear off soon. <sighs> I'm sorry, Ryoko-san. I tried. But I couldn't save you. Oof. Oof, she's not she's not having a good day. Alright, we've gone through a few people here. Uh I kinda wanna see what's going on with Yuki, so we'll keep going right. there. I have to do everything eventually, so if you're like, you haven't done red glasses girl yet, I'm like, don't worry. One day. Not yet. So many mysteries about what happened in the girl's back, but one thing's for damn sure. Nachan's definitely gotta look for more clues. Alright, so... At this point, we've gotten two routes here. We've gone to the girl's bathroom and investigated it. To, to get, like, a hint that there are two Kisaragis. And through other things, we know that one of them is an android. Um, and we know about sus suspicious pills. So... To get to the other ones, I need to do one of two things when trying to go to the shrine. So we just gotta get over there. We just need to not talk to what's her name. We don't we this just have to not dumb. talk to Ryoko. What fall? Record. Which record is this? That gives me this. I think it's three? He says he's look it's called writing inside. Nope, it is not. There you are. I've been looking. Let's just fast forward through that. Let's give me What follows? It's record 2, this right? Who could have dreamed an actual gate? There we go. Are you upset with me? Then we just go through you. Tokisaka, maybe not chan either way. Pretty sure I can use yeah, I can use that on you. The wind been keeping this place. Pretty sure I can use this on you, right? Maybe. At least, that, oh, at least that's how I did it last time. Can't... Well shit. That was Hmm, guess not. Oh. Hmm, what else can I use on you? Several days. She isn't sick, and she didn't run away. It seems like. 
Hmm. What's going to be what we need? Oh, yeah, I could probably examine this. Get that picked up. Ah, oh, this is so convenient. Right before the incident in the girls' bathroom, there was another Kisaragi chasing after Nacha. Kisaragi is also one of the names on that list, so that means Four Eyes wants me to watch her. Ryoko Shinonome. Seems like she's completely forgotten, but she's the one who told me to hide that box in the first place. Can't go wrong with apple juice. Mm, it is truly important. Ah, we don't have to do that yet because we unlocked the front gate. Guess I'll grab my bag. Oh! Okay, that makes sense. Something that the girl on the... She said Nachon went into and described it as some kind of... Hmm. I guess we have to wait for her to arrive with us. I'm waiting for my backup. Oh, oh shit. Wajima. Uh. Yo. Out of my way, punk. <laughs> you trying to give me orders now? You better get out of my face. I'm not in the mood for your shit right now. Sorry I'm late. You really have crap timing, Aiba. Uh, um... Takamiya-san? Are these people... friends of yours? Nope. That's right. And if you're friends with her... That means you have to be friends with me, too. Mm. Hey! You lay a finger on her, and I'll break all ten of yours. Oh, you think you can threaten me? Bastard. Does that answer your question? Have it your way. I owe you a lesson from before. Stay back, Aiba. Maybe this time it'll stick. Called the cops on me. Hey, buddy. Can I go home now? No. Damn it. Four Eyes isn't gonna shut up about this. Oh, it's gonna be a real drag if I get suspended from school. I gotta go. Hey. Just wondering where the ladies' room is. <sighs> All right, fine. I'll just stand here with my mouth shut. Woo, woo, woo. <laughs> hey. I'll take over from here. Yes, sir. Hello, Detective Man. Onishi the Ogre. Pwah! Glad to see you haven't changed, Takamiya. So, what happened to Wajima's lackeys? Most of them got away. The two we caught only have minor injuries. I've been worried about you. They took you away and... I didn't even know you were transferred. What happened? Are you involved with the SIU? Tell me what you know. Sorry, old man. Can't talk about it. <sighs> Half a year ago, there was an incident involving the transport of heavy machinery. It was reported as an accident, and in the middle of all of it was a young lady, Ryoko Shinonome. 
I took her into custody. Shino Nome. But just like with you, those men from the SIU took her away by force. Her statement was a curious one, though. She claimed both her and her weapon came from the future to fight against Kaiju. So what? You believed that crap? There was another heavy machinery accident just recently. I saw it there, just before they covered it up in a tarp. And let me tell you, that thing was no ordinary piece of construction equipment. Something is going on in this town, and I have to find out. You'll tell me what you know, won't you? <sighs> You'll tell me what you know, won't you? <sighs> Shino Nome and her weapon came from the future, huh? I remember. She wrote about time travel and a robot that fights. Onishi the Ogre may just be another old fart, but he's an old fart I think I can trust. Maybe I should talk to him and have him help me, too. So, how much do you already know about the SIU? It seems there's an understanding among the higher-ups, but it's still a mystery for us underlings. As far as I know, they're doing extensive research on Shikishima Industries. I figured as much. Let's see here. We could, uh, maybe, uh, talk about this? Now, I don't know how much of this is true, but according to Four Eyes, Shikishima is making nuclear weapons, and there are miners involved. They told me to watch him, which is why they transferred me. Miners? Ryoko Shinonome is at Sakura High, too. Natsuno Minami has been missing since last week. Are the police even looking for her? Natsuno Minami. <laughs> The name doesn't sound familiar. She's a first year at Sakura High, and the SIU are looking for her. You'll let me know if you find anything? I'll keep my eyes open. Take a look at this. It's a request to limit traffic while transporting heavy machinery. The thing Shinonomi claimed to have arrived in is on its way to Shikishima's new shipbuilding dock as we speak. If I can get there, maybe I can finally figure it out. What the machine is, and what happened to Nachan. Man, even your trains look cool. What the ogre had to say, I had no choice but to get on this train. Shikishima's shipbuilding dock. No idea what shit I'm gonna find there, but the anticipation is twisting my stomach into knots. The shipbuilding dock the robot was moved to. It's on a landfill near the port. A deserted area with nothing but storage. I'll take this train to the last stop and then wait near the facility. I'll have to wait until dark to sneak in. Ogata? Oh. Hmm? Oh, wow. Takamiya. What are you doing here? Obvious, ain't it? I'm going home. But I thought... Don't you live near Nachan's house? Yeah, when we were in elementary school. I live with my grandpa now. Where are you going? Oh, well, uh... To see the ocean? You all right? So where's your minion? <laughs> not to follow you around today? You mean Erica Aiba? Aiba? You're in class D, right? She's in your class, isn't she? Huh? That's not Iba. Iba's been absent from school for a while now. The next stop is. All right, now I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of this fact that everybody has different oh. fucking names constantly. The next not a fan. <laughs> take off. See ya. Whatever. I already knew she was a fucking android from like that earlier thing. But come on. Not Iba. Then, who the hell is she? Shit. Who can I even believe anymore? I guess just myself now. 
Trust nothing I don't see with my own eyes. And the first thing I'm gonna see, the weapon at Shikishima. <laughs> Security sure is crap here. Sneaking in was almost too easy. Though, when it's this damn dark, it's hard to see much of anything. Dark. light coming from wait a minute it's my skin that's lighting up well that explains Who's there? it wait i know that voice ryoko shinonome what are you doing here i should be the one asking you that hey you your leg is glowing What's going on? Our bodies are responding. We are pilots. Pilots? <laughs> we are being called by the 14th Sentinel. Son of a... What the hell is that? being moved through the streets? This is a weapon. We will need it for the upcoming battle. And you... are one of the people who can pilot it. Yuki Takamiya. You... I remember you from the list. You're Renya Goto. What do you mean, one of? This is my Sentinel. Sentinel? So, this is the weapon Shikishima made? No, Shikishima did not make this. We did. Who the hell are you guys? From our perspective, this world is nothing but the past. You mean, time travel? <laughs> You're not serious, are you? Very. The Sentinels themselves are weapons from the future. This is the Sentinel? This is what Nachan was looking for? A robot that can fight aliens? Really? Aliens? Was she planning on fighting some little green spacemen? Well, then what are you trying to do? Save the world from the kaiju. <sighs> what follows is an invest... Ninji Ogata clapped that Erika Aiba is not who she If that's true, who's the person that's been following me this whole time? And what does she want with me? Hmm. What Maybe I read this and I get some stuff. He he's it's called writing inside. Nah, those don't give me keywords. Okay. I'll just get to talking Stay to you. Back. Ah! Help. Stop that! You want to find out? Let's go this way. Get out of my way. Or am I gonna have to beat the crap out of both of you? There will be none of that. After all, you too have a part in this. I don't have jack squat to do with this. Your glowing skin suggests otherwise. I don't know what you did to me, but I've had enough. What did you find? New code has been added several times. How many times did he come into contact with her? They must be close. You're from the nurse's office. I'd like to research you a bit more, Yuki Takamiya. What are you... It's pretty fucked up, honestly. Oh. Well, you look at that. We unlocked Goto. Look at that. Crazy. All right, let me see. I bet she's locked now. I must now defeat uh, Minato Minami's exterminator. Oh, we did that. We did. You can't stop. Ladies and gentlemen, they think they can prevent me from continuing. You can't stop this. This train. It's been going for as long as I can remember. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to hit this. I'm going to hit that. It's going to it's gonna save through grand magic. And then I'm going to end the episode like this. Ababa Bowie!